other tricks. Um, if you, depending on the uh, shape you have or what you want to cut out, uh, we might have to invert it. So I, I've got this rooster. Uh, I'm going to trace it. And uh, we've had a few questions about, well, I click OK and nothing happens. Well, so you might have to play with this right here, the threshold. If you have, if it's not a solid black and white image, the brightness cutoff uh, might not be your best option. There are some other options, and again, if you're using a real computer and not a Mac that is apparently very slow and won't open, you should be able to click on this. There it was. And you've got different options. You can do edge detection. You can, you can trace by colors, auto trace. You can play around with these and you can change the thresholds here for, for different images until you get a, a trace that you really like. With a simple black and white shape like this, we don't have to mess with it. I just click OK. It's traced it. We can close that. So, uh, MacBooks. I'm sorry, I'm kind of sick of them. So that's my trace because it's got the pattern. So we can click on that and just delete it. Well, I hit delete. Well, have I expressed how much I dislike Macintosh yet? Okay. So, uh, if I have this shape, uh, uh, what if I want this shape to be the hole? What if I want a rooster-shaped hole in a different shape? So I'm going to draw a circle, maybe. Oh, it drew, but our fill is turned off. So if I click any color, uh, it, we can turn the fill back on, but I want it black. For now and we can still edit this right so maybe I want to pull this down like that all right so I'm gonna get this guy now and I'm gonna move it over here but we can't see it so I'm gonna turn its fill white but nothing happened what that's weird if we move there's nothing there my rooster disappeared not really. What happened is when we move the rooster, it's underneath this piece. So I have to put this down or I have to bring the rooster forward. So if I select this one, it needs to go down. So I'm going to come up here to object and I'm going to lower it to the bottom. If I had still had the rooster selected, I could raise it to the top. So I'm going to click this. And there's our rooster. Okay, it moved it on top of this shape. So I'm going to move it over here somewhere, um, wherever you want it. We can scale it up. We can scale it down. I'm going to leave it just like that because I want to show you how to do something else up here. All right, before I get too far, we're going to save this guy. And we'll just call it rooster uh, for my students. Make sure you're saving in the class folder, uh, or it will, <clears throat> it will, it gets automatically deleted off the computer every night. Okay, so what if I wanted to put words right here? Uh, um, we can do that. We have a text tool, so I can click, select that tool, I can click, I can type something. Uh, what should we call it? Hey, Goose, I need a name. What should we name this guy right here? Can you give me a name for him? Um, Fundy. Huh? Fundy. Fundy. No, Friendy. Friendy. Okay. So his name, this rooster's name is Friendy. There we go. Friendy. We can grab this uh, with the text. We can we can make it bigger. We can stretch it out. We can pull it over. Uh, we can do all sorts of fun stuff 
Uh, but we want it up here, and we have the same thing happen. See how it kind of disappears? So we're going to change this to white. And actually, it looks like it's on top, which makes sense because we moved the black circle to the bottom. So we've got Friendy's name here. We can get it put where we want. But what if I don't like that font? If I double click, it lets me edit again, and I can highlight it. And we can come over here to all of our tech or our, our fonts. And for some reason, if I'm rolling my mouse wheel right now, it won't let me do anything. I've discovered this is another hiccup with the Macs. Uh, I get down to the B's here. It should go all the way down to the Z's, but it won't let me do anything unless I pick something first. So I'll pick that one. And it should change that. Mm. Still thinking, but now, see, now I can scroll. So we can find a different font that we really like. That one's not bad. That one looks kind of chickeny or rooster-y. Uh, don't have very many good choices. Yeah, see, that one didn't work. On this computer, I don't have very many fonts loaded, so pretty limited on the fonts I can choose from. In fact, you see how these are all the same? They're not different. Uh, let's try that. Hmm. Interesting. We could do that, but I think it's going to be too much work to make it all attached. We want something fairly simple like that. That works. I like it. All right. So we've got our font. We are going to stretch it out. We can spend a bunch of time getting it centered where we want. There are some easier ways to do that, but I'm not going to show that to you yet. Uh, and we're about done. The problem, though, is this is a path, and this is a path, and this is text. So we're going to convert this to, to a path by going object to path. Doesn't look like anything happened, but if you select one of these, you'll notice I've got the red. Okay, and that's a path, and that has a path. But now we need all of them to be one path. So I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. I'm going to get my selection tool. I'm going to go all the way around to everything. So I should be able to come up here and go path difference. And you should see all of this change. But again, Macintosh is glitching. It's not working the way it's supposed to. So a workaround I've figured out is if I do one piece at a time, if I select this one, hold the shift key and that one, and I go path difference, you'll notice that box disappeared and now that's one solid piece. If I select, if I hold the shift key and select one letter, maybe, and this one, okay, if I come up here, path difference, Okay, so now that's all one piece, but for some reason, if I try and do all the rest, so you see we've got this E and all of this, that's all connected, but for some reason, uh, it doesn't want to do all these if I try and do it this way. It just doesn't work. I don't know why. So apparently we get to do them all one at a time. Shift, path, difference. Shift, click on that, path, difference. You shouldn't have to do this on your, whoops. Okay, shift, click, path, difference. You shouldn't have to do this on your computers because they're not Macs. Shift, path, difference. All right, so now we have everything is all one path, 
and this file we could go over and cut. One small problem we haven't addressed yet though is these little pieces, they would fall off, right? So now that this is all one piece, this should be fairly simple. We can get the, the ellipse or the circle like we showed you. We can also do a square. It's not drawing anything. It is, we just can't see it because the color was wrong. So if I bring this over here, come on Macintosh, we're way over here. All right, let's zoom in. Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna stretch this down to a size, uh, something, well. Right about there. Move that up. Okay, so I'm gonna copy that. And I'm gonna come over here, paste it. Oh, hey, it's even in the right spot. Come up here, paste, thinking, paste, remove those just a little bit. And friendly. There we go. So those pieces are still not attached. Let's see if it works this time. If I select all of this. We should be able to go, oh, why is it they're showing something else? Let's try path union. Didn't work. Hmm. Interesting. Well, let's try it the old fashioned way slow way. So I'm going to select this. You can't see that it's selected and I'm going to select this. Path Union. And now that's all one piece. See that? So shift click here. Path Union. Shift click here. Path Union. Shift click here, path union. All right, so there you have it. Uh, Max, again, you should not have anywhere near as much of a headache as I have had. But now when we go cut this out, we would get the black is the metal and the white would be the hole. So we can do really cool things. We could stack this. We could have a black oval that was solid metal and then this piece that's cut out with all these pieces and we could lay this piece on top of the solid oval and the metal would shine through and we could paint this. Lots of really cool options we can do. Uh, last step would be to size this like we showed you in the other video. Uh, save it and get it set up on the plasma cutter. All right, enjoy. Oh.